10 incredible riders. Two weeks of challenges that will push them to the limit. One winner that will take home $25,000 plus a pro contract. Welcome to the Pink Bike Academy, presented by Shimano. Push the pedal to the floor. In this game, we always... Welcome to the Pink Bike Academy, presented by Shimano. You guys stoked? Yeah! Awesome. We've scoured the country for Mountain Bike's next superstar and brought you all here to Big White to compete for $25,000 in a pro contract from Orbea Bikes. You'll all receive a custom Orbea Rayon designed through their Mayo program, along with a bunch of kit from our series sponsors. And all of it is just through those doors. Yeah. What are you guys waiting for? Or get on in. Today was our first day at the Pink Bike Academy. We were welcomed by Jason and told that we'd be competing against each other. Everyone excited? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I think. So the challenge today was we were blindfolded, brought into a room. Everything was black. Do you have a clue of what's going on? No. Nope. Uh, no. Perfect. Definitely a surprise to walk into first thing in the morning. On the count of three, drop your blindfolds. I feel like I already had so much pressure on myself. Before I had even taken off my blindfold, I could feel my hands were shaking. I was vibrating. Three, two, one, go. Oh, no. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> it's my bike. Hey, this is my bike. You may notice your bikes are a little unfinished. This is your first challenge. It was pretty annoying seeing our bikes all unbuilt, but you know what, it's uh, for the challenge, so I'm all, I'm all for it. You must build your bikes using the tools provided by Feedback Sports, and of course, we're timing you. When I saw my bike, I was just like, okay, I'll do my best. It's not riding, so I guess it's not that important. Today on our judging panel, we have the lovely Christina Chapetta. Christina has raced her bike all over the world and knows what it takes to compete at the highest level. This year, she joined Pink Bike as a video presenter, creating content such as riding tutorials, mechanical how-tos, and race coverage. We also have guest judge Drew McKenzie. Drew works at Shimano and has spent his fair share of time racing as well as working on bikes. Drew will be key in spotting riders who know their way around a work stand and who may find themselves a bit lost. He's gonna be checking your bolts, so make sure you do them tight. These bikes come completely kitted with Fox suspension, Shimano drivetrain and brakes, pro components, as well as Maxxis tires, stands wheels, so yeah, they're pretty sick. And bikes are sick, so we had to make sure you look sick. So we partnered with Fox Clothing, Ride Concept Footwear, as well as watches and head units from Garmin and GoPros to capture all the action. The winner of this challenge will receive immunity from the first elimination. You can also ask your guest judge for help but there's a time penalty of five minutes, or you can ask for help from a fellow contestant after they're finished for a time penalty of two minutes. We're judging you on how quickly you build your bike, how well you build your bike, and if the bike's safe to ride once you're done. All right, everyone ready? Yep. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Mad dash for the pump at the beginning there. Look at Vlad's arms while he's pumping there. It's insane. I would say that is a pretty good chance I was the fastest to pump up my tires. I think I have a physical advantage, just a little bit, maybe. Now, Christina, you've obviously wrenched on your own bikes before. How important is it that athletes know how to do this stuff? Uh, I'd say it's super important, especially knowing the tools, having the right tools, 
you know, if you're traveling all over the world, potentially, like your bike's coming out of a box. So you better know how to put it together because chances are you don't have a personal mechanic. Yeah. Drew, early standouts, Who, who's impressing you right now? Uh, the speed of Julia and Addison's pretty good. Staying composed, getting things on, not too much fumbling. And what are you looking for right now? Just kind of keeping an eye on everything and kind of assessing who decided to do what first. Yeah. My confidence in my mechanic skills needs some improvement. This is so frustrating. Why is this so hard? Like everything that takes time and I am slowly figuring it out. My name is Angie McCurdy. I'm 27 years old and I'm from Squamish, BC. I started riding bikes in high school with our local mountain bike club. After high school, I took a few years off riding bikes. And then when I was in my early 20s, I started riding bikes again. I moved to Squamish, got a really good group of ladies that I shred with. If anything, I'm glad that it's half men and half women because I feel like it's a stronger advantage towards the females. I don't want to be overly confident, but I want to have faith in my skill level and believe what I can achieve. I'm a solid rider. I have a good skill set. I am competitive. I'm definitely nervous, but a little bit of nerves is always a good thing. Two minutes in, Tom's got both wheels on. Are they inflated? Who knows? Thank you. Oh, cooperation there, I like it. Tom, can I grab that after you? Yeah. I'm after you, Ben. Can I grab that pump after Ben? Of course. Thanks, buddy. Hey, Evan, I'm after you. I knew that you needed to pump the tires first, then stem, then wheels, then pedals. And that was kind of going to be my fastest recipe. But everyone else had the same thought and went for the pump. So they automatically just adjusted and said, all right, the wheels will have to wait. We'll put them on the bike, and we'll pump them up on the bike. Addison, both wheels on. Very nice. I lost my chance earlier, but just had to adapt, uh, regain focus, and continue on with the mission. My name is Addison Zawada. I am originally from South Carolina, down in the States, but currently residing in Montreal, Canada. My age is 29 years old, and I like to ride bikes. My cycling history is long and varied, from, from BMX to spandex and road bikes to a little bit of mountain bikes here and there for fun, to the long Flint Hills of gravel racing. I have not done a lot of mountain bike racing, but I've done both ends of the spectrum. I've been 45 seconds of BMX and 13 hours of gravel racing. Put those two together with the technical skills involved in BMX, and I think I've got a pretty good recipe for an enduro racer. On any given day where I'm given the same opportunity, the same equipment, I feel like I'm a strong rider, and I feel like I'll be able to, to perform. I've always thought I was fast. Now I get to find out how fast I actually am. Addison, just notice those brakes are loose. Gonna have to tighten those up. Where's the pump? Any pump? Oh, f No one has asked for assistance yet. I'm impressed. This is awesome. Is there a pump? Nice. Pump, pump, pump. <laughs> Misha running around frantically for a pump. <gasps> Only two. Ten riders. It's almost like we planned it that way. <laughs> My name is Michaela Pachakova, but everyone calls me Misha. I'm from Czech Republic. I'm 34 years old. I live in Whistler, BC for the last eight years. Since I was a child, my family was quite into biking. So every vacation, uh, summer vacation we did, we always brought bikes. I've done lots of biking on gravel roads or pavement. We used whatever bikes we had, road bikes or no gears, gears. So when I moved to Canada in 2012, my first summer here, I got to know what actual mountain biking means and started to progress from there. My strongest skills for this event is just 
being who I am, being easygoing and kind of trying to enjoy, enjoy the event. <laughs> um, to be honest, I wasn't really paying attention. I heard some noises and some sounds. You can put my back wheel on. I actually told myself before I was like, don't let anyone else affect you. I was very, um, not actually too aware of that. Make sure those bolts are tight. We will be checking, but not too tight. So about just about the end of the challenge for myself, I was working on my bike, finishing up the last few dial-ins and started looking for a pump. Addison's searching for a pump. All are in use right now. And then I heard the contestant, Julia, actually call a pump. Angie, can I have it after you? <laughs> But then when I got done with everything, she still wasn't on the pump. The pump was free, so I went to grab it. Hey, Julia. And as soon as I turn around, Julia's standing there with her hands open. I was like, there you go. Thank you. Oh, I'm so close. Oh, look at that teamwork right there. Julia with the pump now. It does take a substantial amount of time to actually pump up these tires. So I knew that I was gonna fall back in line, but I heard her call at first. I didn't wanna be that guy that like ruins someone else's contest. All in all, uh, just trying to be uh, fair and a gentleman about it. Should they be doing teamwork? I don't know. Even if it costs you something, doing the right thing is kinda always the way to go for myself. Just over five minutes in, you guys are crushing it. Double checking his work. Remember, once the bike goes down, you are done. Oh, wow. Lad's got his plate oh, going damn. on. Whoa, oh, with the nab. Done. We got Ben done. I'm just really not sure like why they're even here because it's probably just should be just a one man show, you know. My name is Ben Wallace. I'm 20 years old and I'm from North Vancouver. Born and raised on the North Shore, so I've kind of just been riding for as long as I can remember, basically. Three years ago, I started racing downhill World Cups. Um, I raced two years of junior, and then I did a season of elite last year. First impression of the other athletes is definitely uh, pretty good. Everyone's super nice and uh, super chill to relax with, and so it's a good group to hang out with for the two weeks. It turns out they're even more Joey than I thought. They're, uh, you know, they're probably on the green trails out there right now. I'm, I'm hanging out here, not knowing like what kind of challenges they're gonna be, and like riding a new bike is definitely a little nerve-wracking. But uh, you know, I gotta show them who's boss, and I, you know, it's gonna be an easy win for me. Because I could have like this personality where I'm like a complete to everyone, but they would never know. Evan with the pump. All he has to do is inflate his tires. Done. Glad done. Addison pushing the pump through the floor. <laughs> Tom with his race plate. Almost done. Nisha going for the race plate. We got Addison and Angie both race plating up right now. Almost wow, done. Things are getting heated. Tom done. It's done. Misha done. It's done. Angie done. Joe almost <laughs> can't get it out of the stand. Joe is done. Done. It's a pretty bike. Nah. I wasn't surprised, you know, his first challenge, first win, you know, it's, it's no big deal, you know, if you ain't first, you're last. Help from a friend, help from a friend, Addison. Oh, yeah, Nicole's gotcha. calling for help from a friend. Yeah, of course. Oh, nice guy. I asked help from Addison, just because at that point everyone had finished and I knew it was going to take me a really long time and I was just, I guess, really sweaty and kind of shaky at that point. I couldn't even get the axle in the front tire. I'm Nicole Kennedy, I'm 27, and I'm from Golden, Colorado. I started biking a little bit with my family when I was a kid. I've always been a little interested in racing because my uncle raced semi-pro along the way 
into enduro racing. I moved into my little Toyota truck for a summer to save up for my enduro bike. I did suffer a traumatic brain injury and during that I did have some post-concussional depression and the only thing that helped me with that and got me through it was my bike. And then we moved up to beautiful BC and I started racing some bigger enduros. You can do anything you set your mind to and I always tell myself I can do all things. <laughs> I am Wonder Woman. <laughs> so I feel like I I could win the academy, but I also feel like I could come probably in the in the middle as well, seeing how all things pan out. <clears throat> I haven't like talked about it. Um, can I like can I start over when I'm done crying? <laughs> can you pass me one of those three ways? A uh, big one. I've made it pretty apparent that I work on bikes for a living, so going into this, I kind of suspected that someone would ask for my help maybe. I was hoping it wasn't in the middle of building my bike, because that would not have been much fun to be like, ah, you gotta wait a minute. Addison has one minute to help <laughs> Bella Nicole there. If someone needs help, it's not going to affect you in a negative way. Why not help them out? I mean, she, she needed help, so I gave it to her. Done. Evan Dunn, between Julia and Nicole for the final. Pressure's on. Julia making the final check. Everything tight, pedals are on. All right, just slow down. Focus on what you're doing. Yep. You need to rush at this point. Oh, Julia done. done. <laughs> I knew I was gonna be the last one, it's okay. <laughs> I mean, there's always curveballs, and I still had fun with it. And I know there's a, a bunch of elements of surprise, and they're not judging just on time. So maybe because everyone did do everything so fast, maybe their bikes came out not as ideal as they had hoped. So maybe I have chances there. Am I still got time, or am I over? You're out. Okay. Uh, I didn't tighten the pinch bolt. Plate. Nicole grabbing the race plate. <laughs> Nicole hitting the finish line. Done. Done. <laughs> I don't think I'm going home, but I just hope for the best, prepare for the worst. everyone challenge one complete how are you feeling Good. we're gonna take some time with the judges to deliberate you got to take a look at some things why don't you guys head outside of the lounge and chill for a bit we'll call you when we're ready good job everyone I think I have a good chance. I put in a, a lot of effort. I actually built my bike to race spec. I did all the torques properly. I made sure everything was straight and dialed in. I'd be confident I'd take my bike down the mountain without touching it again. For sure, I think I have a good chance at winning the first challenge. Um, yeah, I guess I had the fastest time and then I think everything was really put together. So I'm pretty stoked on the outcome of that and I think I have a good shot at winning. Oh, I wish we knew the stress <laughs> level on that one. <laughs> Ooh, I'm still at 117. Recovery time? Yeah. <laughs> What's the recovery time? Two hours. Two hours. Two hours. No. Well, I can't do anything till tomorrow. So I got a 77 stress right now, and that's after. So like, obviously it was high. My heart rate was definitely probably pumping on that challenge. You know, it was like a seven minute effort, just all out. But uh, you know, the, I, was, I didn't really have time to look down at my Garmin to check the heart rate, but uh, I just had to make sure I was focused on the challenge. But uh, I think it was probably pretty high. Uh, you gotta like, he uh, health. What was your stuff. maximum? What? What was your maximum? I don't know, because I, I wasn't looking at it when I was doing it. No, but you can check it on your watch. I saw that one crazy, that one 116. Gross. Maybe you're just fitter than me. Huh? Maybe you're fitter than me. Mm, maybe. A little bit. <laughs> maybe. So guys, first challenge done and dusted. What do you guys think? It was interesting. They were pretty nervous leading up to it with the blindfolds on. I was pretty impressed. It went quicker than I thought and a little smoother than I thought. So let's start off on who killed it. Who did the best? 
So uh, Addison did well, Ben did well, uh, and Vlad was, was pretty good too. Yeah, I'd say for sure those three guys really stood out. So that's who did well, who didn't do so well. Uh, Angie uh, probably had the, the least prepared bike. Uh, stem was significantly loose, some pinch bolts were loose, so uh, like it would have been a catastrophic failure right away riding. Just... So Nicole obviously finished last time-wise, but how was the build? Um, I did see her kind of fumbling with, like she pumped up the tires right away, but just getting them into the frame, um, threading on the pedals looked a bit confusing at a time or two. She called for help. Addison was right there, ready to help her, so I gave him a little brownie point in my book. Well then, I mean, based on our judging criteria, do we have someone at the bottom? I think it's pretty close. There's probably like three back runners uh, based on how time will play out and then the ratings on technique and then finished product in terms of safety. It's gonna be tight. All right, first challenge in the bag. How's everyone feeling? Good. Good. Yeah. Good. Nervous. Excited. Nervous. <laughs> well, at the start of the day, uh, I let you guys know that the winner of this challenge would receive immunity from the next elimination, and that person is Ben. Whoa! Congratulations, Ben. Yeah. Bike was built the fastest. It was done upright. Good job, man. Sweet. Thank you. There's no way that I wasn't first. Uh -huh. Yeah, like there's levels here, right? Like I'm up here, they're kind of like hanging out down here in this bench, you know? So yeah, it was an easy win. Uh, now for some, some bad news. Um, Angie, you are today's loser of the challenge, unfortunately. Your timing was good, but unfortunately your bar and stem were not done up right and the bike was not race ready. Okay. I don't feel like I should have been eliminated. I don't feel that my bike was the worst. Like, I didn't finish last. However, no one is getting eliminated today. <laughs> but don't rest too easy because the results from this challenge will be included in the results from the next challenge. And I bet you guys are wondering what that challenge will be. <laughs> okay. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Like, Nicole should be in my position. She got help from another contestant, and she was significantly longer after me. I feel like out of a box, I can assemble my bike and I can ride my bike and I don't know if Nicole can do that. You! We made it! We made it! Yeah. Contestants, welcome to challenge number two. Before we get started, I wanted to mention that our judges noticed that across the board in our bike build challenge, there were some small errors. Remember, this competition is about speed, but also consistency and accuracy. With that out of the way, let's begin challenge number two. We're gonna see just how fast you guys are with a one-stage enduro race from the top of Big White Bike Park. And luckily, there's a handy-dandy chairlift right behind you for me to take up. I think it's more authentic if you guys pedal. It is enduro after all. So I'll see you at the top of the mountain. Is everyone ready? Yeah! Three, two, one, go. Let's do it. Woo! How far are we going? All the way. Branding. Well, actually, the rope ends right there. I'm a biker. He's a rebel. Rebel without a cause. Wow, you're breaking the rules, bro. Take a right here. Oh, 
What a savage climb. How you doing? No! Next time on Pink Bike Academy. Vlad rips his shirt off, just all Greek goddess of him. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Not going with the clock. Oh no! She looked good. Someone's hurt themselves and, and, and crashed. Ben's competitive, and that's going to stir some pots later on. Time to get, time to get.